Sago Gula Melaka. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Cook It Yourselves where I'll teach you to cook it yourself. Today we are making a dessert, our first ever dessert video and these are the ingredients. Here we have pandan leaves or screw pine leaves, salt, gula melaka, coconut sugar and sago. Sago is a type of I don't really know what it is. Some people say sagu, some people say sago. I think you can find this in any Asian supermarket. And coconut milk. This is a traditional dessert that I grew up with. Really love it. I have quite a hankering for it right now, so let's get to it. Now first we're gonna empty the sago into a pot and fill it up with water. You're gonna wanna make sure that the water covers um, all the pearls because we want this soaking for about 10 minutes we'll be back so while the pearls are soaking I'm gonna start boiling some water with some screw pine leaves I'm just gonna bunch it up like that so it doesn't you know get all over I have some water that I've boiled here I'm gonna just pour it in we're just gonna fill up our pot and let the pandan simmer in there I wish you could smell this. It's already coming up. It smells so good. It's been 10 minutes. Now we're gonna drain this. It has absorbed some water. It's looking a bit fuller. We're gonna drain the water and then we're gonna pour the drained pearls into this boiling water and keep stirring for 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> burn myself a little bit. And remember kids, ABC, always be cleaning. You can see it's, it's turning translucent so quickly. You gotta keep stirring. If it gets too hot, too starchy, just add some room temperature water in and just keep stirring for 10 minutes. Okay, it's getting a bit too thick at this moment, so I'm gonna add in some room temp water. And I'm just going to keep stirring. So it's been 10 minutes. I turned off the fire. Now I'm going to cover it and let it rest for about 5 minutes. And here's a block of that coconut sugar, gula melaka. We're going to add in some water, cover it and we're going to put it in the microwave for about 2 minutes. Okay, actually 1 minute is enough. <laughs> So I realized just one minute in there is more than enough. Okay, I need something. Oof. Look at that. Okay, that is hot. Mmm. Look at that. Golden syrup. Now we're gonna take the sago out and we're gonna wash it under cold running water. Oh fuck, that was dumb. <laughs> oh shit. It's so hot. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring a hand? That was so freaking dumb. We're gonna try to wash and drain it so that it separates. You can see the individual little pearls. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Okay, no. Still very hot. Now I'm just going to put it through a sift, let it drain out and put it in another pot. I mean if you had a huge sift, you can just pour everything into the sift and start running water into the sift. But I don't have one so... That took forever. Get a huge sift! Now that we're done, I'm going to transfer it into moulds that I have. It's just like really metal bowls. <laughs> and we're going to put them into the fridge for about 2-3 to three hours. We're gonna make the coconut milk. All we gotta do is just heat it up a little and then we're gonna add some salt and the pandan leaf. Let's put that in. Love in you is you. Mmm, just a pinch. Or two. I like it salty. Okay. We'll let it steep while our sago is setting. 
Mmm, delicioso. Throw this away. Bye bye. I just took one out of the fridge right now. I'm gonna transfer it to my cup. Nope. I think it's not going well. Well, well, well. All is not lost. Flavor is what matters. I am going to pile on the coconut milk right now. Mix it up well. Moment of truth. My seashell spoon. Oh my god, tastes so good. The spoon's a little bit too small. Get a bigger spoon. No. It looks it's cute. Mmm. Mm. Really fun to eat. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Cook It Yourself, and I can't wait to see what you do with the recipe. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.